So this is episode one of how to build your first e-commerce dropshipping store and see instant results, long-term reliable results. I'm going to share with you everything that I've learned over the years helping people scale their e-commerce stores. Uh, in this video, and I'm going to split this into multiple different videos, uh, there's going to be an entire playlist, uh, depending where you're watching this, if you're watching this on YouTube, then there's an entire playlist, you can skip to wherever you want, it's a very laid back course, I'm not going to edit this, this is not designed to get millions of views, so stick around, get out your pen and paper and make notes. Now, in episode one, we're just going to go through background, exactly what is e-commerce, what is dropshipping, understanding the business model, how you can get results, uh, how you can make money from it, and how you can get a low risk uh, model, because obviously I want to make sure you make money, I want to make sure you don't lose money and waste money on e-commerce. So the goal of this is not to sell you a more expensive course. I do have a product, ChatIQ, which is AI e-commerce, where I actually work with e-commerce brands. And this is one of those e-commerce brands. Now, this is kind of, I'm using it as proof to show you that I can do e-commerce. I can help you with e-commerce. I know everything about e-commerce there is to know. This client I was working with was doing about $1,000 to $5,000 a day. I then took them to $100,000 in one day using my software and helping them scale and just understanding proper business models. And I'm going to teach you throughout this course exactly what I did for their business and everything that I've done working with hundreds of other e-commerce businesses. So this is a breakdown of everything in the course. You can pause this, you can have a look through this, but essentially a quick run through. In the next episode, we're going to find out what to sell, understanding how to find products, product research, uh, different product research strategies, but more so understanding a validation of a product, what makes a product sell. Um, and realistically, you can make anything sell. Uh, how to become a business pro. So this is like a serious talk video. This is understanding expectations, how much it's going to cost, how to not lose money, and just basically set up things properly. So I want you to be educated in a way that means you know everything you need to know before you get started. We're going to build a store together. We're going to walk through everything in terms of building that store. We're going to be using Shopify to build this. I'm going to give you all the tools that you need, the software that you need, setting up payments, infrastructure like who to hire, customer support, ensure long-term success. This is probably one of the most important videos in this course. Uh, market how to get traffic, that sort of stuff, advanced marketing walkthrough. Um, this is very, very important. And then also optimization, how to make sure you're making more sales. And this is like when you're really starting to make money, how you can make, you know, five, ten, twenty thousand dollars in profit per month is when you get to this point. Scaling and fulfilling, understanding the fulfillment process. Uh, and then also I'm going to go through the case study, which is the hundred thousand dollar day video, uh, sorry, e-commerce store that I showed you. Uh, so this is why to listen to me. This is my e-commerce, this is my business that I run. I run a software company which helps e-commerce businesses scale through AI product recommendations. Uh, if you're looking for that, by the way, there is a link down below this video you can go ahead and click on. But you can pause these, you can read through these. My point here is not to try and prove to you that I can do e-commerce. My point here is to try and help you do e-commerce. So episode one, background. What exactly is e-commerce? This is the model that we're doing here. And you've used e-commerce before. You may know what e-commerce is, but we'll go through it anyway. And basically what happens is a customer goes to a website and they purchase a product. And we are building uh, the infrastructure to allow us to facilitate that business essentially now amazon is an e-commerce business but they allow sellers to sell products on their website what we're building here is our own brand our own website we own everything from the store to the products the marketing that way we control as many parts of the business as possible we can make as much profit as possible so a consumer visits the website and we're going to go through how to get the consumer to the website in a later episode later lesson they will then place an order onto your website you will then they make a you know a payment for that product Let's call it fifty dollars whatever product you're selling that order is then fulfilled now fulfillment this is a tricky one when you're starting out and there are a few ways that you can do this the one thing that you should not do if you've got no investment is go ahead and order a thousand units of a specific product right so let's say for example we are selling this product here airport case Traditionally, you would go out and you would buy a thousand of these. And what you would do is you'd put them in a warehouse in the United States or the UK or wherever you're selling your product. Uh, if you're selling it you know, in three or four different countries, you've got to ship a thousand or 500 to each different country. Uh, you've got to pay warehouse fees. Then you've got to pay that warehouse money to get the people who work there to ship that order out to the customer. Now, the benefits of this is the customer can receive that product in two to three days because you're shipping with local shipping. The the con of it is you've got a setup cost of a few thousand dollars and then you've also got costs to actually keep it there and then if you don't sell the products you've then got you know negative huge negative costs so it's much higher risk so a lot of people wouldn't get into e-commerce because of this problem uh, once that order is shipped then it's going to get received by the customer and then you've got this is like the actual business part of things, making sure that that customer is happy and satisfied with the product and then also hoping they then return and purchase more products so the reason why most people fail is because they are greedy and the only thing 
they focus on is this bit here where they get the money and you want to move yourself away from this mindset. You want to make sure that the only thing you're interested in is not just the money because here's the problem. If you, somebody comes onto your website and they make a payment and you're happy because you've now received that money, you forget that you then need to deliver on all of this stuff. That customer has given you money in the expectation that they're going to get all of this stuff in return, which is they're going to get a good service. They're going to get the product that they paid for. And don't forget, right, we, by doing this, are competing with companies like Amazon. People have expectations and those expectations have to be met in order for that customer to then come back and buy. Now that doesn't mean you have to ship the order and get to them within you know, 24 hours, but it does mean that customer has to receive the product, it has to look like what you're advertising, uh, you've got to basically ensure that customer's happy so hopefully they come back and buy because here's the thing, with e-commerce it's really cool because if you can give this process and you can nail this and it's quite easy to do uh, and there's like software and that's part of what my software does is help this make this process easier um, but if we can nail this it's much easier to get a customer to come back and purchase from our store because if we can set up the system that does all of this stuff if we can automate this and we can ensure that every time somebody comes through they're happy then it's much easier to get somebody to come back and purchase another product from our store and we can do product launches and we can get one customer to come back one, two, three, four, five, ten times. Uh, and it's much cheaper to do that than it is to acquire a new customer. So stop focusing on just the instant money reward. You need to move yourself away from that mindset. The goal here is to build a long-term sustainable business. So how do we get over this order fulfilled problem? Well, we're going to use dropshipping, which is um, getting a lot of bad rep, but essentially the model is very simple. When a customer comes to your website, they make a payment for $50, $100, whatever they pay for. You then pocket that money, and then you use that money to pay for a supplier. That supplier ships that product directly to the customer. So you don't have to pay for warehousing fees, you don't have to pay for stock or anything like that. Now, there are pros of this and there are cons of this, and this is where it receives a lot of slack because the pros are obviously you don't have to have an upfront investment. The upfront investment is very expensive for traditional fulfillment, but in this case, what happens is when somebody comes to your website, say for example, this is your website, and they buy this product here, when they buy this product, you send their product, their order information, so their name, their address, what they've ordered, what specific product they've ordered, directly to the manufacturer. The manufacturer then will package that order, add the address, and then put it on an airplane and fly it to the customer. That customer will then receive that product. But the cons of this are it typically takes 7 to 10 days to get that product to that customer. More often than not, it's actually greater than 10 days. And the reason for this is because typically you're shipping directly from China. Most manufacturers are in China, so you have to ship by air to the customer from China, which is obviously going to take time. The other problem with this is suppliers typically take anywhere between 2 to 3 days to actually process the order. So although your shipping times might be 7 days to 10 days, then you've got to add on the processing time of 3 days, and now you're looking at almost 2 weeks before somebody gets their order, which is obviously stupidly long. So you need to make sure that A, you're managing customer expectations, and B, you're using a supplier that you can rely on who can ideally ship that product within 24 hours of that person ordering from your store. I'm going to show you how to set all of this up. But realistically, this is fine for you know early stage business when you're starting to scale and you're starting to test products but eventually you want to move from this model to this model at some point when you're making enough money and when you've built a long-term brand but the only reason you're going to move from this to this is if you've actually completed this cycle and somebody who buys will come back and buy again so and that's what we're going to teach in this course um if i've missed anything i'm sure i'll come up with it in a minute so this is the general idea. You have a product on your website for $50. Um, and basically, we're going to be using Shopify to build our products. And this is kind of what it's going to look like. Now, we've got in here 10 different products. I don't know how many products we've got. The point is we've got some products on this store, and this is just a demonstration store. Each one of these products has product information, right? And this is the software we're going to be using. Um, and don't worry if this is, I'm whistling through this because we, were, we are going to build a store together. Uh, we can put the title of the product, the description, images of the product, links to refund policy pages, price of the product. Um, this here is what we would use if we're going to ship using a supplier, which obviously you're doing unless you're saying a digital product. Um, Obviously with this, then this basically helps the fulfillment system know exactly what they've ordered. So it's a code for the product. That's quite easy to set up. Don't worry, we'll talk about that. Uh, you can put in product weights, so then you can organize shipping costs. Uh, 
all sorts of different things. And once the orders come through, you can track the orders in your analytics, right? So you can see how many sales you've made, how many people have visited your website. This here is very important, conversion rate. So if somebody's visited your website, how many people convert add to cart, check out, and then actually buy your product. This is the number here we're looking for. This online store conversion rate is a very, very important number. The higher the number of people who visit your store, the better that you're going to do as a business because you're going to make more sales. Uh, what else have we got in here that's going to be useful? We can then set our payments for our business. So Shopify has a tool which basically allows us to put in our bank account uh, and then it will just send us money. Now you get charged 2% of every single order plus 25 cents. Uh, you can organize shipping and delivery, which means you can set specific costs for different you know, shipping. So you can have free shipping, you can have express shipping, standard shipping, all this fun stuff. Uh, we'll talk about how to set all of this up in a later video. But basically Shopify makes it incredibly easy to do. Uh, and then you'll have a website that looks like this. You've got all of the products on the website. This is a product that I showed you. It's going to have the images. We're going to write product descriptions. You can recommend other products beneath it. You can have a look at other products on the website site all this stuff right you can actually build landing pages that look like this and forgive me because this website does look very confusing i will admit um but anyway you get the idea we are building an e-commerce website that sells products so how does it work in terms of fees and costs and how much money you're going to make and how much money can you expect to make well if you're selling a product for 50 dollars, you don't take home that 50 dollars. out of that you have fees and costs and the most important one is this one which is two percent plus uh, not point, I think it was two five dollars, whatever it was, right? Twenty five cents that you then have to pay to um, Shopify as a transaction fee. Um, then you have the product cost. Now, when you're pricing your products, this is incredibly important. We'll go through this in episode or lesson three, I think we're going to go through it, or lesson two. But essentially, when you price your product, you want to charge three times what it costs minimum. The reason for this is because we have costs in our business and we want to make sure we're making profit, right? If the customer wants a product, they don't get it at cost. And the reason they don't get it at cost is because they are paying for a service to receive that product and they're also paying for other bits and pieces on top. So we charge three times that cost, which allows us to have a bit of room to market that product. Now, if you're using paid advertising, you want to do three to four X of the cost of the product because then you pay Facebook or you pay TikTok through paid ads to receive that product, sorry, to receive a customer, to you know receive traffic to your website that's then going to convert into a customer. Now, just because I pay Facebook $100 doesn't mean I'm going to get paid by that customer. I'm basically buying traffic and hoping that I've built a website that's going to convert that traffic into a customer. That's kind of how it works in terms of the marketing. We'll go through this in another video. Uh, you can also do free marketing as well, so you can reduce this cost. Uh, obviously, you've got to pay to ship the product. You've got to pay for the cost of the product, and also you've got to pay just general business infrastructure costs, like the cost of Shopify, which is like $30 a month. We'll go through costs, everything later, and how much investment you're going to need. Any other software, like if you're using my software, Chat IQ, that's quite cheap, but you're going to use that as well. Uh, that can automate your customer support and obviously help increase conversion rates, so it kind of pays for itself, really. Um, saves you more money than it costs. Uh, and then, obviously, at the end, we're left with a margin. Now, our goal is to make 15 to 25% profit margins, which is going to leave us with roughly $7 to $12, $13 in profit. Now, if this is annoying you, <laughs> that's fair enough. We are going to find out ways of increasing our profit margins, and I'll go through that in a later video, probably episode 8. But you can do things like sell digital products. So if you sold a product for $50 that's digital, the only cost you've really got is the processing fee and marketing cost and your business cost because you don't have a product cost, which means you can increase this margin to about 80%. Um, now, that is obviously, you know, if you're selling a digital product, it's much harder to add the value to that digital product. But obviously, they receive it instantly. So there are other ways that you can do this, and there are other products that you can sell but that's for a different video um, now just to give you an idea of numbers if you were to sell 10 products per month that's going to leave you on the minimum level $75 in profit $100 $750 in profit a thousand seven and a half thousand dollars so if you're looking to replace your income you're probably going to want to sell two to three hundred dollars sorry two to three hundred products per month so about 10 orders per day is going to put you in a very comfortable position to be making a nice amount of profit. Now, to make 10 orders per day, we're going to need a little bit of, of traffic, right? So on average, for an e-commerce store, if we get 100 visits to our website for a very bad store, and this is like you throw something together and you don't put any effort into it, which please don't do, you will convert one person into a customer. So for every 100 visitors to your website, you will make $50, for example, from that one customer. So if we want to make 10 sales per day, 
we're going to be making five hundred dollars per day right and this is why when you see on youtube you see people talking about i'm making five hundred dollars a day from e-commerce they're not they're making five hundred dollars a day in revenue they're actually making seventy five dollars a day in profit that is going to be one thousand visitors to our website is going to get us 10 sales is going to make us 75 dollars in profit that's kind of the idea here so you need to be finding a way to get a thousand people to your website per day now we're going to go through this in marketing stuff later but just give you backtrack this a little bit if you're paying for advertising you're paying for clicks essentially the cost that you're paying for a click ranges anywhere from a dollar to two or three dollars okay so you can start to see how this can make you lose money because if I'm spending a dollar to get a thousand clicks to my website I've spent a thousand dollars right and I've only got five hundred dollars back which means I'm making a loss and the reason that happens is because of this bit here our conversion rate percentage if we convert one person for every hundred clicks we're losing money if we convert two people for every 100 clicks, we're suddenly breaking even. If we convert three people, we're making profit. So that's kind of the idea here. Now, obviously, this is this is like very back of the napkin maths because obviously I'm just talking about revenue numbers on this one. I'm not really talking about profit, but you get the idea. So we're going to try and build a store that's going to convert more than 1% of the people onto our website. And forgive me if any of that maths is wrong, but you kind of get, hopefully it kind of labels the point you really do need to be focusing on selling proper products. Now, this is not a business that you should rush. You can set up a website in an afternoon. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend spending a bit of time thinking about the products you're going to sell, thinking about how you're going to market it, doing some validation, product research, and all of that. And that's what I'm going to talk about in the next video to make sure that you're selling products that are actually going to make you money. So, if you're watching this on YouTube, the video will be, episode two will be around here somewhere. If you're watching this within the Chat IQ free course, uh, you can go ahead and click on the video elsewhere. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments or in the community or wherever. If you need AI in your e-commerce uh, and you want to see how I'm getting sort of, where is it, down here, these results for our clients and customers, uh, don't forget to book a call with me. The link will be around here or in the description somewhere.